December 2020 shook the world of aviation. China announced that it was developing a new hypersonic aero engine capable of reaching Mach 16. That's 16 times the speed of sound. To put this in perspective, the fastest aircraft in the world today can only reach Mach 9.8. Imagine an engine so fast that it could, in theory, circle the entire Earth in just two hours. This isn't just about breaking speed records. This is a leap that could redefine global aviation, military strategy, and even international power dynamics. For decades, the United States and its allies have dominated high-speed aircraft technology. And yet, here comes China, seemingly leaping ahead in just a few years. So, how did China manage to challenge decades of Western dominance in aerospace? How could a country long considered behind in engine technology suddenly reach this level of innovation? In this video, we're going to take a close look at this revolutionary engine, the technology behind it, the engineering feats, and the profound implications it may have for the future of flight. Stay tuned, because what you're about to see could change the way we think about aviation forever. China's journey into aviation didn't start yesterday. It began more than six decades ago. In the late 1950s, the Chinese government made a strategic decision to build a strong aviation industry as a cornerstone of national modernization and technological independence. This wasn't just about building airplanes, it was about building the foundations of a future superpower. But China's ambitions quickly raised alarms in the West. As the country advanced in aviation technology, Western nations, led by the United States, imposed a series of sanctions designed to slow China's progress. Key aviation companies were placed on the U.S. military blacklist, and China's access to critical technologies, from high-end sensors and lasers to advanced avionics and precision navigation systems, was strictly restricted. Even the export of advanced microchips and aerospace components from allies like Japan and South Korea was tightly controlled. These restrictions created an enormous challenge. China was essentially barred from the very technologies it needed to compete on a global scale. Yet instead of giving up, the country turned to independent innovation. Researchers and engineers began laying the groundwork for homegrown solutions, learning from every setback and slowly building expertise in the core areas Western nations tried to block. Against this backdrop of sanctions and technological isolation, China's path to aviation mastery seemed nearly impossible, yet they persevered. And as we'll see, this persistence set the stage for the breakthroughs that would eventually shock the world. China's rise in aviation technology didn't happen overnight. It was built step by step, engine by engine. One of the first milestones came in 1983 with the development of the turbojet 14 engine. This engine powered the J-8 series fighters and marked China's first serious attempt at building a domestically designed combat aircraft engine. By today's standards, the turbojet 14 was modest, it lacked the performance and efficiency of Western engines, but it was a critical first step. Over the following decades, China used each project to accumulate experience in engine design, material science, and high-speed aerodynamics. By the early 2000s, the country had developed the turbofan 15 engine, a significant leap forward. Unlike the turbojet 14, the turbofan 15 used advanced high-temperature alloys and improved combustion efficiency, providing more thrust while reducing fuel consumption. This engine became the powerhouse for the J-20 stealth fighter, giving China a modern, high-performance platform for both defense and technological experimentation. These early engines were more than machines, they were learning tools. Every challenge, from combustion instability to material limitations, became a lesson. China gradually built up the technical know-how necessary to tackle the most demanding aviation problems. From these early achievements, a pattern emerges. China started with humble beginnings, steadily improved, and prepared the foundation for the next big leap, the hypersonic breakthroughs that would later stun the world. 
To fully understand the magnitude of China's achievement, we need to look at what the rest of the world had been doing in hypersonic and supersonic technology. For decades, the United States and its allies were the undisputed leaders. Take Boom Supersonics XB-1, for example. This supersonic passenger aircraft, equipped with General Electric's J-8515 engine, could reach Mach 2.2, completing a New York to London flight in just over three hours. Meanwhile, U.S. experimental programs like the X-43A and X-51A pushed hypersonic flight further, reaching speeds of Mach 7 and Mach 5.1, respectively. Yet these Western programs faced serious technical bottlenecks. The X-43A, despite reaching Mach 7, could only maintain flight for 11 seconds before engine instability became a problem. The X-51A improved on this, but six minutes at Mach 5.1 was still limited, showing that even decades of research couldn't fully overcome the challenges of sustained hypersonic flight. Now, contrast that with China. The country didn't start serious scramjet and hypersonic research until around 2015, more than half a century after the U.S. began its experimental programs. Yet, in just a few years, China has managed to achieve breakthroughs that push beyond what Western projects could sustain. The question is striking. How did China manage to achieve in under a decade what others struggled with for decades? This tension sets the stage for understanding the technical breakthrough that makes the Mach 16 engine possible, a breakthrough that could redefine the global aviation landscape. The real game-changer in China's aviation story is the oblique detonation ramjet engine. This isn't just a faster engine, it's a completely new way of producing thrust at extreme speeds. Unlike conventional engines, which burn fuel steadily in a continuous process, an oblique detonation ramjet uses shock waves to ignite fuel almost instantaneously, releasing massive amounts of energy in a fraction of a second. This method can convert more than 70% of the fuel's energy into thrust, more than double the efficiency of traditional engines. To make this engine work, China had to solve problems that Western engineers had wrestled with for decades. Even the world's largest hypersonic wind tunnel, NASA's X-15 facility from the 1960s couldn't simulate the conditions required for sustained detonation at extreme speeds. So China built the JF-22 ultra-high-speed wind tunnel, capable of simulating speeds up to Mach 30, essentially doubling what the X-15 could do. This facility gave Chinese engineers the perfect testing environment for their radical new engine. The results are astonishing. Experimental tests show that an aircraft powered by this engine could reach Mach 16, which means it could, in theory, circle the Earth in just two hours. To visualize this, imagine being able to fly from New York to Tokyo and back before most of us finish our morning coffee. Compared to the Mach 2.2 XB-1 in the U.S., China's engine is nearly seven times faster. This breakthrough isn't just about speed, it's a fundamental shift in how engines can operate at hypersonic speeds, opening doors to new military, scientific, and potentially even commercial applications that were previously thought impossible. What makes China's oblique detonation ramjet truly extraordinary isn't just its top speed. It's the engineering innovations that allow it to sustain that speed efficiently and reliably. Traditional engines spray fuel into the intake duct, mix it with air, and ignite it continuously. This method works at normal speeds but becomes unstable at hypersonic levels, causing vibrations, fuel waste, and engine failure. China's engineers solved this by pre-spraying fuel directly into the combustion chamber and using shock waves for ignition. This creates a controlled, high-energy detonation that maximizes thrust while minimizing fuel consumption. They also optimize the oblique explosion combustion method, allowing fuel to burn more completely and generate higher temperatures and more thrust. The result? A stable, efficient engine capable of sustained supersonic and hypersonic crews, something even decades of U.S. experimentation struggled to achieve. These innovations have real-world implications, 
Aircraft powered by this engine could maintain ultra-high speed flight over long distances, giving a strategic edge for both military and potentially civilian applications. It's like going from a sports car to a jet fighter in terms of power and efficiency. Only at speeds no car could ever dream of reaching. In essence, China didn't just build a faster engine. They rethought the physics of high-speed flight, overcoming technical bottlenecks that have stumped the world for decades. This achievement demonstrates not only speed, but engineering mastery, laying the groundwork for the next generation of hypersonic aviation. China's oblique detonation ramjet engine is more than a technological marvel. It has the potential to reshape global aviation and strategic dynamics. Experts around the world describe it as epoch-making, comparing its significance to the invention of the jet engine itself. This isn't hyperbole. If operational, aircraft with this engine could travel anywhere on Earth in just a couple of hours, fundamentally changing the calculus of air travel, military mobility, and rapid response capabilities. Consider the military perspective. Rapid, global reach at hypersonic speeds would make traditional air defense systems far less effective. Strategically, it could shift the balance of power, giving China a decisive advantage in certain aerospace and defense scenarios. From a civilian perspective, while Mach 16 passenger flights may still be decades away, the underlying technology paves the way for ultra-fast travel that could redefine international commerce and connectivity. When compared with U.S. programs like the X-43A and X-51A, which struggled to sustain flight at Mach 5 to 7, China's leap is staggering. Despite starting serious hypersonic research only around 2015, the country has overtaken technologies that Western nations have spent decades developing. The global takeaway is clear. We may be on the brink of a new era in aviation, and China is leading the charge. This isn't just a story about engines and speed. It's about innovation, determination, and the shifting landscape of global technological leadership. China's journey from a modest turbojet 14 engine in the 1980s to a Mach 16 oblique detonation ramjet today is a story of perseverance, innovation, and strategic vision. Despite decades of sanctions, limited access to core technologies, and a late start compared to the U.S., China has proven that focused research and bold engineering can overcome immense challenges. Looking forward, the continued development and eventual deployment of these engines could give China a leading position in supersonic and hypersonic aviation with profound impacts on military strategy, global air travel, and aerospace technology. The ripple effects of this achievement could influence how countries design aircraft, defense systems, and even international logistics in the decades to come. If you want to stay updated on China's cutting-edge technologies and the evolving global aviation landscape, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And here's something to think about. As nations push the boundaries of speed and technology, how will this shape the future of travel, security, and global competition? The race for the skies has entered a new era, and China has just made its boldest move yet.